Hey guys, Hamlet here again from Vodia Networks. Today we will be discussing how to create a SIP trunk on the Vodia PBX phone system. We will also be discussing on how to route inbound calls to an account on the system. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our YouTube channel. For this demonstration, I will be using callcentric.com to register my SIP trunk to the Vodia PBX. Once you sign up with callcentric.com, you will be given a peer number in which you can use to register your SIP trunk. I will go over some specifics on getting your peer ready for registration. To get started, once you're logged into your Callcentric account, navigate to Extensions. Choose one of your peer numbers that you have. I'm going to use this one. Click Modify. Once you clicked on modify, you'll be able to change the SIP password here. So I'm going to change the SIP password and then press apply. As you can see, I have a caller ID number which you can order from Callcentric. Uh, as you, and also you will see, please reboot your device, which mainly if you have an ATA device or any other device. Um, they will tell you to reboot so the trunk registers to that device. In that case, we put a SIP password and that's all I want to do. Also bear in mind your account number which you will need. The next step is forwarding. Okay, so on this page I'm going to forward all my incoming calls to a specific extension which is 105 which is the one I set so I'm gonna save that next we're gonna log into the Vodia PBX and we will create our SIP trunk on the local host click on trunks VoIP providers Next, press the Add button. Choose Call Centric. And all you need to do is enter your peer number, which can be found under Extensions. You can copy paste and then enter your SIP password. Press the Create button. And at this point, uh, what I would do is refresh the page so you can see the status of 200 OK and this is already pre-configured so all you need is your account number and your SIP password that you have set up on Callcentric. The next step is to route an incoming call to a specific extension or account on the Vodia PBX. So to do that you scroll down to routing redirection destination for incoming call the first protocol that we have is send calls to destination in the request URI that's used if you have a DID <clears throat> on the extension Vodia will look at the request URI and match that DID to that extension in this case I'm gonna say send all calls to a specific account I can send it to my extension or to my auto attendant. Next, you're going to scroll down and press save. Guys, I really appreciate you joining me today. Thanks for watching. Our next tutorial will be how to set up an auto attendant on the Vodia PBX. Stay tuned and have a great day.